Hey everybody, I have a new and exciting prospecting tool to share with you that integrates directly into your Go High level uh, CRM system. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. It is uh, a tool that looks for local businesses um, and basically scrapes Google Maps and puts all that information directly into your CRM, but there's some really cool things I wanna show you along the way. So let's just say, for example, we want to find a CPA and yeah, let's just go with Phoenix, uh, Arizona. And when we go ahead and hit search, it's going to basically just go right to Google Maps, pull all the search results. And in just a moment here, it's going to start uh, loading them up onto um, into our map system, right? And so you can see we've got 14 results so far. Each page has 20, so 20 is going to be the maximum on the initial page. Uh, and then if we want to load 20 more, it's really easy. We can go ahead and click the Load 20 More button. But before I do that, I want to show you some really interesting and cool features of things that you can do here with Map Leads. So once we have all these uh, dots plotted, you can see which business it is here on the map. And what we can see are a few different things here. So you can see the businesses with a website currently today have that blue uh, little globe that represents a website and businesses without a website are here. You can see how many reviews they have on Google Maps and what their rating is. Uh, then we can also see whether or not a business is claimed or not. That's what that little green dot is gonna do. So as we scroll down the list of results, Really easy for me to see businesses with the website, businesses that are claimed on Google Maps, businesses that aren't claimed, it's people with good ratings and numbers of reviews. Um, but let's just say, for example, we load up uh, 20 more and we do that a few more times and now we've got over 100 results uh, here in the search. Um, doing all of that and going page by page is pretty tedious. Uh, so something that we've built into the product is we can say, hey, have they claimed the GMB listing? Maybe we want to find the ones that haven't. And what you'll see is out of these 20 results, 11 people or 11 businesses have yet to claim their GMB listing. Uh, maybe you wanna drive down a little bit more and we say, hey, okay, if they haven't done their GMB listing, uh, do they have a website? Maybe I wanna sell them website services and also Google my business listings and things like that. And um, so I can say no, so now I'm down to seven. So these are the exact seven people that I'd probably wanna target for that type of a business. But let's zoom back out and show everybody again for the 20 results that we have. Um, other things that we can do is we can look for people, you know, that just, um, you know, have a really, really low rating. And I just want to kind of quickly scroll through here and see, so yeah, we've got some people with some zeros. It's kind of like either a zero or we're getting up into the four or five. So, um, these results might not be the best to see that in, but what we could say is, Hey, show me only people with a rating between zero and one. And now I can see, I've got 12 people who have zero ratings. <laughs> Right, so they could probably use your help quite a bit. Um, we could also say maybe we want to see only people between a four and a five rating. Right now, you can see I've, out of twenty, I've got eight records that have between a four, you know, and a five rating. So we'll zoom back out. We'll go between zero and five. But now this time, what we might want to say is like, show me only people. Here's somebody of sixty-six. So let's filter down to say only with people with more than fifty ratings. And so out of those twenty, I've got two. I've got two people with more than fifty ratings. Now you can start combining all of these filters, right? And you can start to really dig in and find the things that you might be looking for. Um, let's hop into one though. And uh, let's just say um, this company here, we wanna you know, take a look at, maybe you wanna try to prospect them for whatever reason. We're gonna go ahead and grab a screenshot of their website. We're gonna display that right here so you can see it. Now, while that website's loading, there it is. Uh, what we can also do is we can go ahead and look for, on this domain and try to find any email addresses that might be associated with it. When we click the Enrich button, which is what I just did, it is gonna go through that process. And here you can see, here's a whole bunch of email addresses associated to that company. Uh, and now there's a few things we can do. Uh, we also got their Facebook profile. We've got an Instagram profile for them, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, we have a YouTube profile for this business, and if I click on any of these links, it'll bring me directly to those profiles. Instead, right now, what I'd like to show you actually is just really quickly um, how we can take this business and with a click of a button, uh, now you can see it's been sent over to the CRM. And so what does that mean? If we go over to the contact section, uh, what we will uh, notice, and I've run a few things here before, but this is the business that I just pushed over, and here it is now inside of of your CRM system. So let's go back uh, to this tab and let's look back at that business again. And uh, that was this business right here. Uh, what you can see now is uh, we've enriched it and we've pushed it to the CRM. So you've got these little codes right here. 
go back to this business and it doesn't stop there. Actually, we can keep going. So let's say Eric, that looks like a great email address. Maybe I've done a little bit of research. I know that you know, potentially Eric and Mike are the founders of the company. And so maybe I want to send you know, Eric to the CRM and maybe I'll send Mike over to the CRM and I get their email addresses in there. And um, once we have them inside of the CRM like that, uh, then what we can do is we can uh, basically come back over to the contacts and look for Eric. And uh, the thing about getting contacts this way is we really don't know their first name, right? I, I'm going off of a, a guess here that his first name is Eric. Now, if I wanted to, I could very easily change that to Eric. But what you'll notice before I change this is I brought it over and the default is there. Now, why do we do that? Because last names are so hard to uh, populate. I'm sorry, names are hard to populate on smaller businesses. You know, if you're using automation, maybe your, your automation says, hi, first name. And instead of, if we don't have their first name or instead of it being blank, uh, we will just move in the word there. And uh, basically, once the contact is here, you can uh, go ahead and prospect all of these contacts like you would anything else. Um, another really great thing about about this product here is that as you're doing this, let's just say for whatever reason we went through all this and we don't really want to look at this business anymore in any of our search results, we can go ahead and hide that business and that little exclamation point will now pop up. And what that means is, you know, we're looking at uh, only businesses that are hidden. For example, uh, I can see the list of businesses I've hidden along the way. Maybe I can come back to this and say, okay, I've gone through 10 of these. What haven't I gone through yet? Anything I've gone through, you know, I've hidden it. Um, or I can go back and say, show me all, and you'll see that business go ahead and pop back up. In addition to that, we might be doing, uh, again, prospecting. We'll say, okay, who have we enriched so far? Okay, all these are companies that have been enriched. Who have we not enriched yet? Uh, and that will leave me the 19 companies that I can still go back through and run enrichment on. Hope you enjoyed this tour of a new product. Uh, feel free to reach out. Happy to connect.